This is the uh, 35 Ford that I caught a couple of days ago. So, I was gonna do a brief another walk around on this one because there's more there's more sunlight out here because one it's so early in the day. You know, I, I got this car a couple of days ago out in um, another part of Long Island, but uh, that was about late in the afternoon. And now it's like the beginning of the day. It's the top of the day. It's not even 9 a.m. yet, is it? Yeah, it is. 9.30 a.m. So, 9.30 a.m. is a 35 Ford. And I wanted to show you. See, I got into a conversation with about this car yesterday. This interior is awesome. It's like a couch. It's like somebody's, somebody's couch. You know, the blue. You got the LED for the turn signals. Indicators. You know, oh man, yeah. yeah. So, and then next to it, I'm gonna get these both while I'm over here. Jeez, yeah. Wow. There's a Buick GS400. And this body looks like a 1960, I don't know, I'm going to say 1968. But let me finish up with this 35 Ford. And then, jeez. And people ask me the name of the channel. And I'm saying Galaxy Marauder. You know, the problem is, man, you spend so much time typing on these phones and type it on tablets with your fingers and your thumbs and on little laptops with little keyboards that my penmanship starts to suffer it's like I forgot how to write in pen right so this is the 35 Ford four door that's the name of this model F O R D O R Ford four door 1935 and then next to this is, like I said, see, this is a Grand Sport. It's a GS400. But this is not 400 cubic inches. The way that Buick would rate these cars is based off of net horsepower. So. Uh, let's see. 1967. This guy there with them Genesis. I thought that was a BMW M5. That's a Genesis something. Very attractive car, but you know, Hyundai quality is just suspect. You know, you just, you just get the car and then you don't know what you got. The engine fails and now you're trying to find all types of ways of not honoring the warranty. This is great. I talked to a lot of these guys. I asked them if they take these cars on cars on highway trips. Because to me, that's like the whole point. If you build up a car like this, you don't want it to be, you don't want it to be uh, sitting in your garage for, you know, if they're 365 days in a year and you got the car sitting in your garage for 200 of those days. This is, see, that's a Chevelle Super Sport. And see the similarity between that one and this one? Both A bodies. You can see that B pillar and C pillar is the same, even though more exaggerated on the Buick, even with the vinyl roof, you know, so, disc brakes, yeah, like I said, I asked these guys if they take these cars on road trips because, to me, that's, that's where it is, man. Oh, right, there you go. There's Steve over there with the 1928 National. You know? That's so, so, like I said, 1935 Ford and 1967 Buick GS400.